Today we sitting here, finna get ready to uh, mount my buddy's uh, brand new uh, Excite 4K Pro 3x14 on his um, uh, 556 Smith & Wesson MP15. Um, and we're just gonna take him through the steps of putting on a brand new scope and um, helping him put the bullet weight in and everything, getting it ready for him. And um, I'm finna turn it over to my buddy Matt because he's the professional on that. And let him have at it. Yeah. Like I said, we got um, this going on. So far, we really only just put the reins on it, and we let the uh, the owner of it basically look through to make sure the the scope is setting where where he want it to be, and then uh, we'll do it again before we actually do the torquing on it to get it exactly what he wants and then whenever we finally get it done we'll uh, get the bullet that he wants in, we'll put the bullet weight and feet per second and everything like that and get it ready for the uh, range to sight it all in. It, it shoots the one that comes in it, it does good. But for a like, really big clarity, uh, ATM makes the uh, uh, 850 Supernova. Check, make sure he likes the scope. It's right where he wants it to be. So right now, Matt is putting a little bit of tension on the screws to get ready to lock it down for good. Whenever they put scopes on, a lot of people will, because uh, these have two screws on each side, you know, and a lot of people will tighten down this side all the way and this side starts to open up a gap. So you wanna, um, you know what I'm saying, go across one, two, three, and four. You know, that way you can get an even torque all the way around. Get it as close as possible by looking at it first. Try to get the gap close. I've seen so many people like say they'll come to me and be like, well man, my scope is, I don't know what happened, it's not tightened up on this side. You should always go diametrically whenever you're doing a scope. You know, go one side to the other side to the other side to the other side, a little at a time as it starts to tighten down on the scope. Don't do one side all together, torquing it down, then come to the other side because you will have a gap on one side. Yeah, 
and recommends 10 inch pounds. Which is nowhere near enough. It's funny because you look through their manual and it looks like any darker at pork chest. If you go 15, you'll strip it out. But again, this is the uh, Excite 4K Pro 3x14 Day Night Scope. Uh, we just mounted this to the uh, Smith & Wesson m and 15. Um, this is going to be um, my friend here his first time with um, this. We're going to get him out on the range, get it dialed in. Um, here with my buddies, again, we're going to do another gun, a 300 Blackout. And this one is Palmetto State Armory. But we got a little surprise here. Uh, Griffin Armament uh, sound suppressor that he's wanting to uh, mount on this one, and we want to see about getting it done for him. I guess this is like unboxing here. I guess you can say that's beautiful. Check that out. Quick disconnects. So I'm seeing that this says 22 cal. So I guess this is for the 22 cal and under, and then this one has the. Uh, 30 cal right here, so we will be at the 30 cal on today, and we're gonna run through it right now. Stay tuned. And you said this one doesn't take a what's it called a crush yeah, nut? They, they don't run a crush nut on it. Pork wrench, socket it. Again, like I can say this is new to me. I'm planning on getting one, and I think this will be the one that I go for. I'm really wanting to get one down my uh, 17 HMR, but uh, yeah, I really like this here. We're gonna get out in the field and test them out, and you guys check that out. That looks good, Neil. That looks really good. Man, you did a good job. We're going to get these guns out on the range and get Neil all sighted in on the uh, uh, 556. He's already entered his bullet weight, his um, feet per second, and everything in that inside the 4K Pro. And um, we're going to get these guns out on the range as soon as we can. Make another video for you guys on that. So, again, just stay tuned. Hit that like, subscribe button, leave a comment, and uh, we'll see you guys later.